<clears throat> I don't know what channel I'm going to put this on, but whatever. Um, this is in response to Rosie Olive uh, 2.0, Vladna Rosinski, uh, Lauren, Loffingberg, whatever the fuck she calls herself. She's got like 10 different names. Okay, I made a video earlier. Earlier today, I was in southern Georgia. I just came out of Florida this morning. I'm in Tennessee now, so I'm up here by Knoxville, Tennessee right now. So I'm in the neighborhood of uh, So Slob 187 right now. I'm going to spend a night here, and then i got to make my way towards Michigan. i got to be there Tuesday morning. So anyway, got to make a delivery up there. Anyway, um... Yeah, I just passed uh, Cleveland, Tennessee, where D-Town lives. So, like, like a little over an hour ago. So, But anyway, I'm up here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Right now. Making a, a response, which she pretty much begged me to make a response. I didn't really care. But whatever. Earlier today, I was in southern Georgia. I had to go to Walmart and get some, uh, some skin uh, cream for my... Sunburn. I got sunburnt real bad in Florida. In Fort Pierce on Friday when I went to the beach. Had some downtime on Friday. Went to the beach on Friday. Fort Pierce. And I got sunburnt real bad. So I brought some skin treatment. At Walmart in southern Georgia. And then I walked over to Wendy's and got something to eat. And as I walked over to Wendy's I went inside there. And I got in line and there was these two fags. You know hugging each other and I'm like oh Jesus Christ so I watched them go over to a table and there's six more queers sitting there and I just like whatever so I sat I made sure I sat on the other side of the fucking room or, 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 or excuse me restaurant because I didn't want to be anywhere near them because I can't stand people like that you know mentally disabled Here's the thing I don't understand. The mentally disabled. These, these fucking, these, these aunt, you know, you know, Rosie, what's her name? Olives, whatever she calls herself. Latin Rosinski, whatever. She says that I'm a hypocrite. Okay, now here's a real fucking hypocrite. These anti-gunners that pass these red flag laws because they don't want mentally disabled people to own guns, when she, which, you know, I understand. I don't want mentally disabled, disabled, crazy people to own guns either. These are the types of people that support transgenders and homosexuals, also mentally disabled people, in the military. And you got to think, you got to think. You know, you, you, you say, well, they're serving in the military. It shouldn't matter. They're defending our country. It shouldn't matter. Um, yes, it does matter because they're mentally ill and they are in control of nuclear weapons, RPGs, machine guns, tanks, jeeps with fucking 50 caliber fucking machine guns on them, Gatling guns on them. They're in control of that shit and they're mentally disabled. These are the same people that say, well, mentally disabled people, we got to pass red flag laws, which violate the Fourth Amendment. Because we don't want mentally insane people having guns. <laughs> but I support a mentally insane person behind the fucking handle of a fucking machine gun. In the military. That's a hypocrite. Before you call me a hypocrite, Rosie Alik, Rosie Olive, whatever your name, Olive, Olive, whatever, 2.0, whatever. You call me a hypocrite because I admitted to sleeping around with the lady behind her boyfriend's back. Okay? Now, first off, let's get one thing straight. That didn't happen. Okay? That did not happen. Okay? What happened, what happened was, what happened was, I slept with a black girl behind her husband's back. Yeah, they were married. I admit it. I am a fucking home wrecker. And I fucking admit it. I am a home wrecker. That's right. 
I fucked this girl who was married. Okay? This happened 10 years ago. She was married. They had a kid together. And I had sex with her. Behind her husband's back. Because her husband was an abusive, pe abusive, cheating, abusive piece of shit. Okay? You don't know the full story. Okay? Rosie Leek. You don't know the full fucking story. Yes, I admit I committed sin. I committed adultery. And I went to my Lord and Savior. I asked for forgiveness. And to this day, Lord Jesus, I am a wicked person for committing adultery. I deserve hell. I deserve to burn in the eternal flame for what I have done. But my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sins. He shed his blood so I can live. He died for me, so I'm going to live for him. Lord Jesus, I deserve hell for the sins I've committed on this planet. And forgive me, Lord, for the sins I've committed. But I accept you, Jesus Christ, into my heart. You died for my sins on the cross. And I accept you for the blood that you gave for my life. And being that, that I accept you for that, that I deserve eternal life. I admit I'm a sinner. I'm not perfect. I've committed sin. I've committed adultery. I've done wicked acts of adultery. When I was a kid, I stole money from my mom. It was just a few cents out of her purse, but still, I committed theft. I lied. I've done a lot of things in my life I'm not proud of. And for that, I deserve death. And I deserve to burn in the eternal flame. But Jesus died for our sins. That's what being a Christian is about. It's about accepting our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Accepting the glory of Jesus Christ. Accepting the Holy Spirit. Accepting Him into our hearts. And coming to terms and acknowledging that we are a sinner. So, Rosie Alik, you have to acknowledge that you are a sinner. When you, you, you said that you're a bisexual. That is a sin to be bisexual. It is a sin to be a transgender. It is a sin to be a homosexual. You have to come to God and say, Hey, God, I am a bisexual. I admit I sin and I deserve death. But you died on the cross for my sins and I accept you as my Lord and Savior. That's between you and God. I can't do that for you, Rosie Alik. You have to do that. I'm just a messenger trying to lead you in the right way so you don't burn in the eternal flame. I don't want you to burn in the eternal flame. I want you, I want you to have eternal life for the rest of your for the rest of eternity. The eight the eight queers that I seen in Wendy's today. I don't want them to burn, burn in eternal flame. I want them to know what they're doing is wrong and come to Jesus and accept Jesus Christ and have eternal life forever. That's what I want of them. I pray that they find Jesus. So let's get that straight. I'm not a hypocrite. Everything that comes out of my mouth, I admit. Every letter. I try to be, I'm a brutally honest person. I try to be as truthful as possible. Okay? And let's make one thing clear. I am not a pedophile. Okay? That is bullshit. I'm not going to admit to that because it's not true. If I was a pedophile, I would admit to it and come to Jesus and, and, and admit my sins. But that's not the case. I admit I'm adultery. I admit I had sex with a married woman behind her husband's back. I admit it. And for that, I committed sin. And she committed sin also. But Rosie Alik says I'm a hypocrite. You know, whatever. I respect Rosie Alik's Rosie Alik's First Amendment freedom of speech. Something that YouTube doesn't respect. And that's why they're trying to erase us. YouTube is run by the New World Order. They're trying to take over. The New World Order takes over every aspect of our lives. Housing, money, 
everything. They want to take over social media. They want to take over our freedom of speech. They want us to think and speak a certain way. I refuse to do it. They can kiss my fucking ass. But I respect Rosie Alik's freedom of speech to call me a hypocrite. That's perfectly fine. That's her opinion. Her opinion does not matter. To me, my opinion probably doesn't matter to her. And that's fine. But she has to respect my freedom of speech. I don't understand why Extreme Dread would date a bisexual. If that's the kind of thing he likes, then that's the kind of thing he likes. Hey, more power to him. If he likes that shit, hey. Like like I said, you know, Rosie Alik and Extreme Dread are two consenting adults. Whatever. That's what they like. That's what they like. So, this is my response to Rosie Alik 2.0. Or I love whatever the hell she calls herself 2.0. I admit I'm not perfect. And I deserve death for my, for my not perfections. So... Anyway, I gotta get some laundry done. I gotta get a shower. Uh, and I'm on my way to Michigan tomorrow. Alright, I'm out.